been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belts away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion. So here's the light heavyweight contender, Anthony Lionheart Smith, as early round action gets underway. And as far as his resume goes, in terms of the knockouts and submissions, he's got the best mix of finishes of any contender in this light heavyweight division. And he said of this matchup, I'm gonna feel him out, I'm gonna see what materializes, see if I can't get him to make a mistake. And you guys know, if anyone can capitalize and get the finish, it's probably me. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Turn those hips Circling towards the left now. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Now a kick to the body. trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> trying to find a home for that right hand. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off Finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Straight punch. Just over three minutes to go. Nice combination by the champ. Smith gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Anthony Smith. That one appeared to stun him. Fighting from both sides, lands a left hand. 
All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Takedown defense is there. Under two minutes in the first round. Block that punch. Smith's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing huh. the game. Went for the inside leg kick. Under a minute now to go in round one. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Punch lands. Just missed with the elbow there. Smith gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Final seconds around one. Heading back to the corner now after that round. Smith's got a nasty cut above the eye. The cut man has some work to do here between rounds. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the replays, Daniel, from that previous round. And he certainly has the hands and the feet going tonight as he caused a cut there in that previous round. A lot of times you can't even dream this stuff up where you fight this well. He has done everything right, and he opened up a massive cut over his opponent's eyes. And now you start to see the blood leak down into the eye, limiting, limiting his ability to try to slow him down. All right, we will see how much that bleeding has stopped as we get ready for this next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Leg kick lands. Nice defense there. Huge block. Another one. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Beautiful leg kick lands. Clean punch. See, he's trying to get the timing down to set up that counter, but just misses there. there you go. Look for the shot. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. <laughs> just out of range with that kick attempt. <laughs> oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. 
Right, and your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue, here's a tissue. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, misses with the jab. Under three minutes here to go round two. Nice, low single takedown. Inside the closed door now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Smith getting worked over something fierce here by those hammer fists. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, nice jab up top by Lion Hartsmith. That was a nice strike. Oh, the Superman punch lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in time. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Smith gets the single leg takedown, nicely done there. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Slice the knee through. Let's go. He passes the half. Kicking the ball here. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single collar time. Oh, Superman punch! 20 seconds to go round two. It's a nice leg kick. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, great block there. Two rounds in the books. All right, let us now get you some replays from that previous round. Big part of the narrative, of course, those devastating kicks to the body. Yeah, he's in the right stance to throw that kick to the body. And you see now his opponent starting to carry his hands really low. Look for him to go over the top. Now that he's got a, he's got him set up the way he wants him. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to... Oh, look out! There's the leg kick. That one checked by Ryan Hartsman. Good jab there by the chin. Just out of range with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Just 
turning his hip over into the leg kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, a huge Superman punch. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Just over three minutes to go. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. That left hand's getting home. Back and forth we go. Oh, you talk about mixing the martial arts. Perfect strategy here. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Smith's in half court. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Going for an arm bar now. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Wow, somehow, someway, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Back to his feet. Exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you... Oh! seconds to go now. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lionheart Smith. Oh, man, the blood is flowing. Strike gets through. This could be over soon. Look at that. Going up to the armbar. Oh, arms in tight. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Oh, he's got his back. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, nice. Side control is pretty safe there. He continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't do is flat on your back, you can up on an elbow, you can be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion.
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. And I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have... Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he lands that side kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Two minutes to go. That punch, no good. Nice jab there by Anthony, boy. And back to his feet. DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Under a minute now to go in this one. Good stick. There it is again. Look at that. Now getting that left hand hold to the target. Let's work, guys. Oh! I mean, geez, Louise. Final seconds here. Hey. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Oh! Head kick 
there, blocked by Lionheart Smith. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in school. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should.